from a little corner of Austin, which is the capital of places claiming to be the capital, barbecue capital of the world, it's going to be a great night. Now, take your sugar pills, clap your hands, and believe really, really hard enough, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! have to believe in this bit that I didn't like earlier, but I have to believe otherwise er, er, it's Churlier. 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 Uh, that's the name of the girl who fell on her ass right in front of us. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're going to have a lot to say about that. Uh, also, I'm just going to reveal it right now. Yes. The penalty for the game tonight. Yes. A I mean, Two P- PGIA. Minute, a two minute freestyle rap. Oh, God Improv damn it. freestyle rap. Okay. All right. So get ready. Uh, to lose. Get ready. To, to lose. lose. Yeah. With, cha- to lose. With, with changing topics. Oh, yeah. It's improv freestyle rap. Oh. Oh, yeah. dear. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you got all your. You have the problem, Brian. So, we so don't say it might go bad. But, but on this, Brian, we know with your freestyle raps that you got all these pre written lines. Yes. Right? I can't rely on any of you're them. Like, this time. You're like cannabis. No. Like being the knees no. jumping from trees and all that shit. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not this time. Improv. <sighs> improv. Uh, 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 you just want to jump in and no, that's really the game. One, that's a, that's a no, that's a that's no, no, no. A, that's no, no, no. I mean, I mean, on, on, we really only have build. one topic though on the subject of of of, of raps and rhymes. Oh, and this, this is a very a very rap themed episode. Yes, dual core. We'll be joining Sponsored us by tonight. Rap Snacks. Thank you very much, Rap Snacks. <laughs> rap Snacks. We Thank you to Rap Snacks. Snacks. The, uh, and that's, your license that's a real, is used that's to. A, Real thing, right? Uh, yes, that's yeah. why I referenced them. Oh, I thought you were just doing it. No, unlike unlike pixie sticks of uh, vaccines, rap snacks <laughs> are real. We almost uh, we uh, we really almost dodged it. We almost didn't do it. You want me to do it? <laughs> I'm trying to be the shepherd, Brian. I'm trying to be the shepherd. And I'm trying to be these delicious Cardi B caramel swirls. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we all have our own angle. <laughs> but 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 you let me know. Do we? Dive straight into to, to the uh, what life in the VIP table is like. Well, yes. Uh, uh, Bryce, can we get our first topic? Our first topic. It's Luda time. Okay, uh, let's play a fun trivia question contest. Yes. Uh, in which I ask questions I genuinely don't know the answer to. Okay. And you just just answer them. Answer them. How old is Ludacris? <laughs> Ooh! Oh, hey, I accidentally made a real trivia contest. A real trivia contest. No, no, this is gonna be good. All right. So I would guess that Ludacris is forty-five years old. How uh, old is Chris Bridges? Brian, would you take the over under? Or I, I would take 45? the over. I would take the over. Uh, he yeah. would pay out to the the under forty-four years old. Yeah. Uh, what a spring chicken that one. Uh, so there we go. 44 <laughs> years old. Another yeah. question? Uh, yes. Um, what is the target age demographic of a ludicrous concert goer? I would say that if we are defining most music acts, the prime audience, unless they break later in life or something like that, it are, at least for, for rap, people in high school or in college when you were at your peak. Right. So so that would be, I would be probably on the mid to mid high end of that. Well, no, because I mean, Southern Hospitality came out when I was in high school. So I would be like in that demo. So mostly you're talking about mid 30s to mid 40s. Okay. And, and would you say that that was an accurate description of the demographic of the show that we went to? Which by the way, we should set up. Brian and I went to a ludicrous show yeah. uh, last <laughs> Saturday at a venue that Brian could walk to it uh, from his it's, house. It's for reals going away. I, I kept saying, like, everyone keeps talking about it going away. It's never going to go away. It actually is going away. They announced on uh, uh, local uh, television uh, uh, November something, something. Like, next month is the last show there. But don't worry. They're going to move the venue to Round Rock. Ugh. Yeah. You know that conveniently located mm. Dallas just north of here? <laughs> Convenient to me. Yeah. (laughs) 
Enjoy Ludacris. Yeah, we really can't let our 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 North Austin racism be, be so explicit <laughs> on the show. Oh yes, we can. Fuck <laughs> it, I'll double down on that shit. North Austiners be like this. <laughs> and how do they be? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Brian. Hey, Brian. How no. how do yeah. they be, Brian? They, they 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 be like like you know the domain's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they be more like no. I don't mind driving forty five fucking minutes to here. Yeah, they, uh, that's one thing they all be is in fucking denial of how fucking far up north they are. It's actually all not that far. Swear to it's God, actually not that far. It's not that far, guys. It's actually not. I, that I don't understand that the big deal. It's really, it's really not that not. far. It's, it's only like thirty minutes. It's only like. No, it's yeah. long. I just realized we're doing our evening at the improv routine just for Annalisa. <laughs> like, like, she's like, we are like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. So we went to a ludicrous show. Yeah. And uh uh we did it because we were driving by. This place is literally like a a, a hop, skip, and a jump from the it, HQ it, here. It, it, it is it's even it closer is to Brian's house. 0.8 miles. Uh, by driving or walking on the roads from my home home, it, it is uh, three miles from HQ. Yeah. And so we were driving by to go get lunch one day, and I see this, like, lineup board, and it's ludicrous. And I'm and like... Sticks is this weekend. Exactly. Cheap, cheap Trick was last weekend. <laughs> All demos that I am not a part of. Ludicrous, however. Yep. Luda! Way in that demo. Yep. And so I immediately was like, I'm buying tickets. And I go, and I see that there's a bunch of tickets, and then there's... Oh, VIP. I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know. Don't look mind the VIP. if I do. And then the VIP says, you get a private table. What? Oh, a private table, you say. I can be an old man and sit down for the hip-hop show? Yes. Now we're talking. Yeah, but what if, well, hold on. Before you say yes, what if we throw in your own personal server? Mm. Somebody who most certainly will get your drinks right beep, bop, and deliver boop, them beep, to beep, your boop, table beep, and not beep, other beep, people's beep. tables. Somebody's remembering things beep. from the end of the night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> beep, bop, boop. Sorry, I didn't hear you because I was already buying a table of four because that's the minimum that you had to buy. So... Brian comes, uh, uh, walks out. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, literally walks from his house to the venue. Bonnie <laughs> uh, offered to drive me over, but I was like, "No, it feels right that I that I stumble over and stumble back." Yeah. Uh, and and you know, there's there's a full moon out. It's 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 48 degrees and gorgeous. Not a cloud in the sky. It was beautiful night. Uh, you get into the VIP, and and what is your first thought? Uh, actually, did I say something or, or, or what did I say? I'll just whisper to it. Cause you should say it. Cause okay. okay. All right. Now they are now whispering. The password oh. is a long okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, Hold I, on, I'll reset you. I, I I'll thought, reset you. Yeah, I'll reset you. Take it again. I take it back. I and three. Brian, I said it immediately. Brian, apparently. Brian walks into the VIP, takes a look around, take a has a dramatic, in. dramatic zip of his hoodie and says, <laughs> I never thought that the whitest thing I would ever do is attend a ludicrous concert. <laughs> because when I say that this VIP is white, I mean white <laughs> with nine eyes. I sent, I sent a picture of it to Bonnie, and she said, what's it like to be a Florida man? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bryce, do we have the rest of these stories broken up into in, into into other topics, or do we just roll? Yeah, let's let's check out the first one. Let's go. Uh, and the next. That guy Hall of Fame. <laughs> let's hear about that guy. Who would you put in 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 the that guy Hall of Fame? We uh, all know that there's that guys, right? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, uh, top of the list would be that guy comfortable being the first to dance alone at a wedding. There we go. That's right? a good, that's, that's great, a good that guy, guy mm -hmm. right? They're, yeah. they're not bad, per no, se. But you know they're that guy. They're just very, very, very unique. Uh, uh, Annalise, Brett, do you, do you know that guy? Do you have another one? Uh, 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 there's usually the oldest guy at an anime convention. That guy. Good, that guy. That the guy. The thing that I try not to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the the, like, there's a... like. Uh, 
I try to be this person because I think it's kind of innocuous, but like the first person to clap when you're like at a bar and there's a band oh, to oh, kind I, of get I, start that everybody that, going. That, that, I'm that, that guy. That, yeah, that's a that, soft that, that guy. That, soft that guy. Soft yeah. that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think ooh, ooh, that, oh. that guy who knows like standard lines from comedy bits and can't stop himself from saying them before the guy on stage gets to <laughs> oh, say them. Yeah. Oh, that's a like, guy. Yeah, that guy. That's a guy. guy. That's a guy. Right? That wow. Guy. Yeah. That's a yeah. Guy. The guy that only knows Monty Python quotes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a guy. That's a guy. That's a guy. Or Simpson's quotes. Or Simpson. Well, I feel like that's like a British American. <laughs> I feel like people people in Britain are like, look at the guy who only knows Simpsons quotes. <laughs> He's like, yeah. There's uh, al there's also that guy that can speak Klingon. Uh, I also know Paul Mattingly. <laughs> 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 uh, I feel like on Saturday we met a new that guy. We found not just the that guy, the that guy. A, a pot. I'm not saying first ballot. But a possible entrant to the That Guy Hall of Fame. <laughs> You're oh, oh nice. Right. That guy, that guy who cuts away to a different camera <laughs> while boogers go flying out of my face. <laughs> that's my guy. That's, that's, right. yeah. that's, guy. that's yeah. our guy right there. That's ours. That guy. <laughs> Fantastic. We're in the VIP. Yes. And uh, uh, as we're gonna get to in another topic, things are getting loose. Oh yeah. Things are getting <laughs> fucking like. Sloppy, like a uh, a uh, 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 early like the, the 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 sorority party that has to end at eight thirty levels of sloppy. I uh, I'll tell you what, man, there ain't nothing better than being at a table of four VIPs where none of us are trying to get laid, but all of us are just fascinated in uh, the anthropology of what is happening, <laughs> and you're like like no 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 look at this one. <laughs> so what we quickly realize is that like this is where the the population of the club right. whatever we are defining as the club this is where they in, went in 2004 right th they're all back right <laughs> they're all back and they're here in the vip Tonight. right now yes. right and so with that we see a hall of fame that guy ladies and gentlemen that guy that is standing for the entire Two hour ludicrous show experience. Yep. With an unlit cigar dancing <laughs> in one position. There we go. There yeah. we go. Which, by the way, it turns out that's a dance anyone could do, which is why that guy's doing it. <laughs> and it turns out you can do it with an unlit cigar because he did it the entire time. Now, I felt really bad because I was taking a lot of pictures too. Because as soon as Brian was like, this is so much great. Great night material. <laughs> I started taking pictures to document it, so I've done my best uh, uh, to 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 hold mm. off the the innocent. Bryce, did you? I forgot to. Yes, tell you we've got it another. here. Okay, we've got we the go. image pulled up. There, here. <laughs> there he is. There he is. That guy. And is I that a leather jacket or a? Uh, I can't tell. No, I think that was a it. fleece, I believe. Uh, uh, although I will vouch for the fact that many a cow did die so that many a white person could attend a concert. A lot that of night. leather. A lot of leather in yeah. the VIP. Uh, 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 El Condor Pasta says, is that guy cool? It doesn't matter. No. It matters that he's that guy. He's just right? that he guy. is a singular a man guy. walking through. Now, Brian left. Yeah. So there is an element of the story that you don't know. Uh, uh, not before, not before I made unnerving eye contact with the guy. You <laughs> did with oh, that guy. You yeah. made eye, you made eye contact with that guy. Like he leaned over, and I swear to God, to this moment, I have no idea what he said. But he he did one of Do those. Do your best impression. He did one of those 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 uh, 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 mumbly jumbles that just means I'm happy to be here with you. So he's just like like. <laughs> Fucking classic, yes. that guy. Oh, that classic, God. big, big that guy. Oh. You know that's what that guy's gonna say. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that guy. I'm starting to love that guy. <laughs> He's a little lovable. Oh, yeah. He's a little lovable. So Brian leaves. <laughs> And this is really also uh thank you for, for for not hammering me for the fact that I left like uh like uh all right here he is ludicrous and I'm like I'm going to bed now <laughs> 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 All right
<laughs> Wait, how much of the Luda show did you, how much of Luda's set did you actually see, Brian? Over, under, on five minutes? Well, here's the delight. It was more thing. than five minutes. It was, okay. Yes, because yeah. uh, it took me more than five minutes to get home, and I heard every fucking word clear as yeah. day. Yeah. All the way we'll back get, to we'll get to that. We'll yeah. get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, uh, there is, no, I'll save that for that. Because right. there's a funny moment. Uh, Brian leaves. Yep. And we see that he's not just that guy. He's Chekhov's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> because the, that guy announced in the first act has to light his unlit cigar <laughs> in the third act. And indeed, late into the show, he starts loudly asking, who's got a light? Who's got a light? Which is like, you fucking have a cigar yeah. in your hand you don't for have the entire your show. You don't have a lighter? Not to mention you need like a specific lighter for cigars because you need the little flame. Do you have and... a torch? Does anyone have a torch? A torch? You need a, a torch. A torch. Uh, also, this is a non-smoking venue. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, in the VIP that lounge. was yeah, that was that was being roundly disagreed with, uh, <laughs> along with many other local laws. But uh, he gets his cigar lit. He takes a big drag off it, and then just keeps dancing. It. That was it. <laughs> just, the the cigar, just, just the cigar. Just the one. One, one puff, and then he didn't goes finish it again. No, because the more the more you puff it, the the sooner you stop being that guy. And he really just loves and being then that guy. Just the guy that used to have a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be that guy. Right, you want to be the guy who's got the cigar. What's the next topic? Side bets. Oh shit. So like I said, uh, you two were adorable, by the way. Who? Me and that guy? You you and Trey. Oh yeah. Yeah. I I I I I, I took the hard over. Uh oh, okay. Yeah. So uh uh six, Brian and I Brian and I five. When 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 you leave Brian and I together for a, a, a certain amount of time, eventually we just start betting with each other about random things. It's just a thing that we do. And uh we started talking to each other about when this show was going to start. Right. Because I had noticed going to more recent rap shows, uh, and these were larger rap shows, uh, something that I had never seen in my entire life going to rap shows were, is happening more recently. Right. Which is that rap shows start on time now. What? This is a thing that I never experienced in my youth. It was just a thing. All, all shows were always late in general. Rap shows tended to be Rap shows and Guns N' Roses shows tended to be the latest. Uh, uh, and now, more Now more, that more. we're in the 21st century, in P-Funk, the P stands for punctuality. Punctuality. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good so, poll. So I'm like, all right, Ludacris, he's a, he's a showbiz guy. I yes. bet you his shit's going to be on a rail. He's going to start exactly when he needs to, especially since apparently there's a nebulous noise ordinance for the nutty brown cafe mm -hmm. I, I mean quite literally they're shutting down the venue because the, the neighborhood that sprouted up around it got annoyed that they were playing music so late uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh luckily uh, i'm sure they'll be cooler in round rock yeah they're much better in round <laughs> they're way cooler in round rock so uh uh we start betting and I don't know the specifics on this, so I don't know how good of a story the, it's going to be. The, well, the first bet was it was around 6.05 uh, that we were all in and settled. Uh, they hadn't even started doing the, like, amp everybody up pre-show uh, DJ music. It was just like somebody's... Imagine an iPod on shuffle, but nobody's wearing a helmet. Yeah. Uh, they, they were at that level, right? Yeah. Uh, a and, helmet. And, the, uh, 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 and, and so the question is, like, uh, all right, so how long could this possibly go on? It's six, it says 6 o'clock start time on my ticket here. When's the Luda guy coming? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and I uh, uh, immediately I was like uh, uh, two and a half hours from now. And, uh, and both Justin and Trey were like, that's crazy. The Luda man. It's the showtime says six. It's six oh five. No, no, no. Where's the Luda? All right. We, we did not go full Stanley. <laughs> swear to God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to push you farther into Excelsior. this character. Uh, <laughs> we like, are true believers. I ordered a salsa and one cigar. Where are you, ladies? <laughs> uh... We thought the ridiculous man would be on stage by now. <laughs> the ticket says six o'clock. This schedule is ludicrous. <laughs> I'll tell you what's ludicrous. 
these timekeepers. Am I right, Trey? Hey, oh, we missed the high five. That's okay. <laughs> You're great. What a world we're building. <laughs> I know. It's basically just two live Jews. <laughs> So we believed that the DJ would come out. Lil Flip was the opener. He's got two singles, so you got to figure he does about six songs, and then Ludacris comes on. That was the idea, right? And so we think 8.30, that will be the first time that Ludacris says a thing. Uh, yes, and, and I had my own thoughts, um, and I may be misremembering this, but the way I heard it was, because back in my day, that's the way we always did it. It was six songs and then the kaboom. Do you remember the kaboom? And then you guys both did kaboom. When I saw Billy English back here in 75, <laughs> he started punctually at 7-0-0-0-0. It was on a USO tour. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I knew I was fucked when Lil Flip goes on uh, at like 8.15. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I knew that the over was way blown when he plays his two hit singles, This Is The Way We Ball and Game Over, and then keeps rapping. <laughs> keeps rapping. Plays his two biggest singles, keeps rapping, does a freestyle after that, and then ends with a remix of This Is The Way We Ball. Wow. The song he had just done earlier, he ends with a remix of it. There was a surprising amount of, remember that song from 30 minutes ago? Well, listen to this. Yeah, because and, and, and listen listen to the uh, uh, Green Room show, but we talk about this this phenomenon of like the, the people that were just out there the entire time were just playing old songs and just hyping like every other word on them, and then they started repeating shit afterward. So... Lil Flip goes off, and uh, uh, what we notice is that the VIP has gotten drunk. The, Very v drunk. the, the VIP is like a Borg invasion of bachelorette parties. Just like slowly, so, everyone's assimilated. Ludicrous. Like nothing but whale tails uh, and muffin tops as far as the eye <laughs> can see. Bunch of woo girls. Fucking brutal. Bunch. Fucking brutal, but he's not wrong. He's not fucking wrong. Again, the club from 2003 is there. Like in 2021 and, and in whatever state they were uh, uh, in life, it doesn't matter then. They are there now and they are acting the exact same way. They are getting fucking faced. And so it, it comes to a point where Brian and I start picking out some of the worst offenders. Who, who's going to fall? And uh, uh, we start betting <laughs> on and whether or not. Unfortunately, there was no action on that bet because the words had not come out of either of our mouths <laughs> before she had fallen on the floor. Hit the floor. Uh, and so the bet was, will she make it to the first line wrapped by Ludacris? Uh, to my credit, she was gone, gone, gone. But she showed up just as Ludacris came on and I left before the first bar yeah. of, of Ludacris. So, uh, uh, yes. Double fail uh, on unlike, my Unlike, uh, 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 much in the same way that a heavyweight boxing match does not have a three knockdown rule, uh, neither does the VIP of the Nutty Brown, because <laughs> this lady fell down, not once, not twice, but thrice, and not doing anything complicated, mostly just standing. Uh, yeah. Uh, which was odd because there were chairs. She could have just sat down, but she did not. She I, wanted I, to. She wanted to bust it. I, I want to say there were almost always selfie-related disasters. Uh, like there were like a lot some of, amount yeah. of leaning back, leaning and that back, was, that's yeah. all it took. No, and there was a lot of awkward twerking. Just uh, a lot of awkward twerking. A lot of like from her or. Okay. The, the whole VIP. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's more like a you're kind of doing a worm. I mean, you're kind of doing a lazy worm thing. Yeah, one might call it a half-assed attempt. Ah. <laughs> a lot of awkward twerking. So that was that was uh, uh 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 that that was our betting and and indeed, I was the victor as yes. she stuck it out. She was a gamer. She was there to listen to all of Luda. Bryce. Our last topic for this is. You hear that? Is this about the fact that I was able to hear everything crystal clear all the way back to my there, house? There comes a point <laughs> in which I see Brian go into his wallet. Oh, yeah. 
And Brian starts pulling. He pulls out a, 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 a his his money wad. And he starts uh, thumbing through it. By the way, this is the uh, the acclaimed money wad from uh, asshole blackjack. This is, okay, this is that, the asshole blackjack. Still walking money. around nice, with. Nice. Yeah. And he starts counting out twenty dollar bills. And I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck Brian is doing right <laughs> now. And he just hands me a bunch of money. And I go, what is this for? And Brian says, this is about the amount of money that I give you so you're not mad that I'm leaving during Ludacris. <laughs> 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 to which Justin says, he's walking out right now. I'm like, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> no, no. This is literally what I said to you. Yeah. This is one of the greatest nights of my life that has then gotten better because <laughs> Brian wants to pay me $180 to leave. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Scooper God. Novergirl says that that is a that guy move. <laughs> yeah, that I was a that guy move. I was that guy. <laughs> but it was it was great. There's the look on your face of just like, like, <laughs> this is this is the price of me just leaving. And I'm like, yes, stop. Oh, you, you and you're lucky you got it on sale. Uh, there was only one other uh, big surprise that night, and that was uh, uh, early on. Uh, I, I left the VIP table to go to uh, the the world's worst uh, monster maze of of, of shitters. Uh, yeah, they, then, uh, they they have no on site like bathrooms it is all porta potties that they've lined up for the venue right right yeah. and and so uh uh on my way out uh, uh the, the dude is just like excuse me are you brian brushwood <laughs> oh no <laughs> he can't escape it and i'm like uh i mean at this point you uh, you know i'm like yes i am and he goes i got your email today about the supply chain difficulties <laughs> I just want to thank you for that sales email that you sent out. <laughs> and I'm like, you're great. <laughs> I'm going to shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to cost me $180. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the big thing that we didn't know was uh, exactly how much from Brian's house, again, 0.8 miles away, could you hear everything that was happening at the Nutty Brown. So this was the last bit of science that Brian was gonna do is walking I'm glad, back. I'm glad we did it uh, before you know uh, uh, it moved to, to uh, Round Rock, where I'm sure I'll hear it just as loud. Yeah. Sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, well, look, it's not that far. So uh, <laughs> you uh, start walking home. Yep. And and what can you hear? Uh, 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 well, first I hear uh, uh, ushers. Yeah, and and luckily you had warned me. I was like, I don't know what. Ludacris's famous works of art are, and he and you said, well, don't worry, he almost certainly is going to play other people's music, and just rap it, including because he made an appearance on those things. Yes, and he does. He does a lot of like like all, all the big. He's been on a ton of hit songs, right? But he's been on verses on a lot of hit songs. He's been featured on a lot of right. Hit songs. So, so he does all those. Songs walking too. on home, I yeah. hear ushers. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that Justin, he was was correct. And then, uh, but but uh, as I as I get to my door and then i look up at the full moon above the still air um uh, uh, uh did i actually send you you sent me the oh, following Jesus text Christ. message <laughs> you sent me the following <laughs> text now brian what state of mind are you at the end of this evening uh i don't know how you would describe it but i know it cost me 180 dollars <laughs> <laughs> Walking to my door, writes Brian Brushwood, and can hear move, bitch, clear as a bell. <laughs> yeah, so science was done, uh, and we made a neat gun. Turns out you could hear everything, and you will be able to hear everything uh, that is played at the Nutty Brown Cafe until they close down in what, uh, 20 uh, minutes. Less than an hour. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, so, so, so there we go. Brian and Justin go to Ludacris. Uh, folks, if you want to continue to enable uh, Brian and I doing uh, dumb shit like that, <laughs> you can please head on over to patreon.com slash great night. Patreon.com slash great night has never been a better value for you, mostly because we now give you exclusive content. Each and every week, we give you a bonus show that is not on the main feed. Yes, all the pre-show, post-show, after-show, that's on the main feed now. Not on the main feed is a new show we did. We had a great episode with John... 
uh, Teasdale uh, last week. Yep, yep. Where there was a very, very, very on-brand moment for both John Teasdale and Brian Brushwood, where Brian took the improv to a place that was totally incomprehensible from where we were before. And John Teasdale, who loves just laughing at everything, <laughs> was laughing so hard he could barely get out Brian, I don't understand the joke. <laughs> well, if, he was just what, in what, love what, with it, and it was like the best encapsulation of Brian Brushman and John Teasdale I could think of is Brian taking the improv way further than anybody thought it would go, and John not being able to help himself but laugh at it. Uh, the only thing that made it sweeter from my perspective is your mild annoyance with the fact that I was refusing to even give you anything to barely tether on to. No. <laughs> just, just, just wilder and wilder. Every once in a while, you have to understand that your comedy partner is a bottle rocker with a stem broken off and it's gonna go with a fucking watch there uh also shouts out to our friends over at the rooster teeth network uh we did uh good morning mm. from hell mm. uh uh that was a lot of fun we uh, saw i got someone in the scam nation discord today who said I, I just turned on my podcast and i heard brian brushwood on it and it was the good morning from hell and that is such a good little serendipity <laughs> yeah so uh, i would encourage everybody to go listen to it if you have not downloaded it uh please do it now it is an improv thing uh, in the likes of which that we don't normally we normally do this kind of improv which is us mostly just horse uh, i like to call it lazy improv uh, yeah uh, whatever they do what they uh what i assume is called somewhere polished improv yeah. characters yeah. long form improv uh, sound yeah. effects the whole nine yards exactly and and so uh but uh, we, we definitely invaded heaven uh the red baron uh yeah and, I, and I, the guy everybody's who, everybody's a character so uh, yeah. uh they are Satan's little brother Clayton, right, and uh, Chris, Chris, right. Uh, and, they are the hosts. That's right. And and we in hell. Yeah. Uh, I was the Red Baron. You used to be in heaven, but then around the 1970s, you found yourself in I hell. I got transferred to hell because, because the Red Baron pizza, pizza sucks so, so much. Shitty, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't even involved with that. Iron Mike. I was. I was. I was a pilot for Germany pre-acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. I mean, I earned mine fair and square. I uh, I survived the Hindenburg piloting it to the ground. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a fun way to say it. Max Struess, who uh, 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 ran the Hindenburg famously into the goddamn and my ground. My famous stop, drop, and get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was it was it was great. And uh, uh, shout out to all those guys at Rooster Teeth. That, that was uh, 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 fucking awesome. And that amazing art. Look at that art. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot <laughs> wow. they rode a luck dragon. <laughs> yeah, a luck dragon's involved, and you have to finger its butt to make it move. And so that's <laughs> so that's, that's the source I, of a lot of comedy. I thought it was just an unfortunate pose, but no, nope, that's just... No, that's... No, that's, that's, that's what you're that's, doing. Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> That's a real thing. It makes way more sense now. Uh, so, Man, uh, I feel like now's a good time for us to play a game. Yep. Called, <laughs> Who's feeling lucky? Who's feeling lucky? Funk. Hello, everybody. Uh, so uh, I was listening to my f absolute favorite podcast, the After Things podcast, which you can listen early on patreon.com slash weird things. They were telling me that crypto is the wave of the future. And I knew I had to arm myself with a bunch of knowledge. So I went I to... I had to fight with my fucking 15-year-old little brother about crypto today. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You're talking about, about the, uh, Cryptos, the piece of art that sits outside of the CIA? <laughs> Did you know there are mistakes? No. <laughs> no. Oddly, no. Oh, okay. No, he's into some dumb crypto, and I keep telling him it's stupid, and he's 15, and he's like, fuck you, old man. Yeah. I'll do what I want. He's like, uh, 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 look, you don't understand. These Nigerian dollars, they print billions and trillions and quadrillions. I'm like, why don't you just smoke meth? <laughs> like the rest of us like, did like at in Okay, all right, all right. No, he's got a fucking, I'm staking my crypto claim, bro. Does, does he have a fave? Diamond ends. I'm not even going to say it. It's irresponsible. It's a fucking Ponzi <laughs> scheme. Okay. So, uh, so I went to my favorite website, angelist.com, and found out that I could put together one of our favorite games, the Startup Spelling Bee. Woo! So I've got a list of startup names, and Brett has got all sorts of good information, like how many people are there, uh, some details, how much yep. they've raised, et cetera. Yep. Um, and uh, you are going to try to spell these crazy startup names. Uh, you're each going to get uh, a name. Uh, if you get it wrong, the other person will get a chance to steal, but they only get five seconds to start. So if you can't get it real quick, uh, we'll we'll just pass on to the next one. Ready, ready. Uh, whoever gets the most points wins. Whoever gets the least points loses. Brett, what's our punishment for the well, day? Well, as we uh, spoke about in the beginning, uh, the loser will be doing, is it a two-minute? Two-minute well, improv rap. Two-minute improv ah. rap with uh, changing subjects yeah. as prescribed by myself. <laughs> and uh, dual core. 
Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm in. I'll have to pull up a beat here in a little bit. All right, so uh, uh, so I'll give you I'll give you the name. You got to spell it. All right, Brian, we're gonna start with you on this. Ready, one. ready. The company name is Case. 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 Uh, how many employees? Oh boy, uh, it is uh, eleven to fifty. Uh, yeah, yeah. How how recently were they founded? That's uh, not. Uh, we, we could tell you how much they raised or where oh, they are. Yeah, where uh, where are they? They are in. Oh boy, uh, New York City. Oh, dude, in a New York minute, it got to be just K A S E case, case, K A S E case in your face. Loser. Incorrect. Justin, you got five seconds. Spell it, case. Five. C A S E. Your answer is. He's done it. Correct. What the fuck is this? Today's opposite yeah. day. That's right. Case. Case is a multi-signature hardware wallet for securing digital assets. All yeah, right. dipshit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a point for Justin. Justin, we're going to go to you on this one. Go ahead. Your word is... Buttercoin. <laughs> Buttercoin. Where is Buttercoin based? Out of Palo Alto, California. In your face. Trying to think of a joke if she was a butter coin. <laughs> oh. I guess rich women. Yeah. It's not funny now. <laughs> butter co butter coin. I'm trying to think of a body part that would be a coin. Butter groin? No. Oh, butter that's... no, but that's easy. It's not yeah, butter groin. Yeah, yeah, Brian, that's an easy joke. <laughs> nice, we're not Brian. doing easy. No. Good job, buddy. <laughs> butter coin. Uh uh, how many employees? Uh one to ten. How's it spelled? <laughs> oh, no, don't tell him that one. <laughs> uh, Buttercoin. But me. I have to tell him. Buttercoin. Mm. B. U. T. E. R. C. O. I. N. Your answer is. Incorrect. Brian, you got five seconds. B U T T E R C O I N. Brian, your answer is. Correct. A white label Bitcoin exchange service. They are closed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about it. All right. Grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> Brian, we're gonna go with you on this one. Ready. Your word is block cipher. Block cipher. Block cipher. One of these is going to be screwy. How many people work at Block Cipher? One to ten. Oh. And they're based out of where? They're based out of San Mateo. Ch okay. Okay. Also, these are all crypto startups, yep. if, if I didn't say that. B-L-O-C-K-C-I-P-H-E-R, Block Cipher. Brian, your answer is... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, real, 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 uh, uh, real quick, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, yes. Uh, block cipher is. The oh, I didn't teach him. I didn't teach him ah, that. I'm sorry. Go I him. Let him go. Uh, Let him go. Yeah, no, go. Do, do your best, Brett. Uh, block cipher uses Amazon Web Services for blockchains. Nah, tell him the bit next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it next time. Next time we do, I'll, I'll show bit. you. Tell it's him the bit in, next time. Okay. Uh, uh, block cipher B L O C K C Y P H E R. Your answer is yes, 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 yes. what? Get crunk. That's right. Get crunk. It's block cipher C Y P H E R. Oh, I will. Oh, I'll get crunk. Woo! Woo. <laughs> oh, get crunk. Oh, uh, I'll get crunk. Whoa. Hey, Bryce. That's a quote from George hey, Washington. What's the score so far? <laughs> uh, the score so far after three rounds of game, uh, Brian has got one point. Look yeah. at that on the oh. board. Justin, it looks like has two points. Oh. oh. And if yeah. you hold your head steady, I'm going to milk the cow. We're well, starting with Justin on this one. <laughs> I, thought you heard it. I thought you heard it clear as a bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with Justin on this one. Justin, your mm. startup is called... Corbett. Corbett? Corbett. 
I found out that my my family in Florida really loved the movie Norbit. I think that's a good movie. Mm. I remember that big okay movie. Is it? Okay it movie. fucking cost Eddie Murphy the Oscar. Mm. Anyway, fuck you. <laughs> fuck uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Corbett, how many uh, uh, how many uh, 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 employees? It's fifty one uh, to two hundred. Where is it based? Uh, it is based in Seoul. What's its spirit animal? Uh, it is the uh, claptrap. <laughs> Use it in a sentence. Here, Brett, I, I, I'll take you. Okay. Fuck! Corbett is down. <laughs> okay, I was going to do something close to that. <laughs> Corbett. C-O-R-E-B-I-T. Good answer. Good answer. Justin, that answer is... A piece of shit. Incorrect. Brian, you got five seconds. Corbett. Q. O. R. E. B. I. T. Corbett. That answer is. Loser. Incorrect. Loser. Loser. Well played, Bri Brian. 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 Seoul, Korea. Seoul, Korea. Go on. Now try again. I mean, are you saying that knowing. <laughs> Knowing the information he didn't get. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you saying that opening that door won't get us canceled? <laughs> right. <laughs> the, like, what moves what can would I it make? sound well, like? Well, yeah. Someone, yeah. No, yeah. I'm not saying that. The spelling we were looking for was K O R B I T. Corbin. Corbin. Yeah. yeah. Corbin. That does make sense. Corbin. If you know they're from Korea. Yeah, yeah. I'm old Korea. All right, we'll go on to the next one here, Brian. We're starting whack with you on this one. My, my, my old pappy used to say, went on down to Koreatown to get me a squeeze of Corbett. Yep. When I brought it all back home, turned out to be my friend Norbit. The two of us, we did found us a, a cave. <laughs> with a K? You're already starting to rap. Why are you just <laughs> accepting the feet? Uh, that... I gotta get warmed up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Things aren't going well. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Brian, we're starting with you in this one. Yeah. Your startup is called My Coin. No, don't. Uh, mm, seems easy though. M Y C O I N My Coin. My coin. That answer is. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Incorrect. Apparently not. Justin, you got five seconds. Five, four. M Y K O I N E X two. <laughs> <laughs> that answer is also incorrect. We were looking for M A I C O I N. Oh, because oh, they're based out of Maine. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> out of Maine. A, main a bunch of Mainers. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you want to start a start? Oh, yeah. Get okay, yeah, some I was well, bringing up a real big uh, a, 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 a big old lobster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, the claws will come at you, and they're all snippety snoodles. And then I think to myself, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Your your main accent is a good Logan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say fuck Different off? Fuck off. Can you say fuck off? Hey. Uh, fuck off. Pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good. Right. Pretty good. Yeah. Get this guy as a stand-in. All right, Justin, we're starting with you on this one. Uh, sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Bonafide. <laughs> Bonafide, huh? Uh, where's it based? It is based in Mountain View. It's California. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh <laughs> people that work there at Bonafide. There is either one or ten people working there. <laughs> <laughs> when was it founded? It was founded in a date that I have no idea. Ooh, we can tell you how much they raised. Or how, much, how much did they raise? Nine hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's almost a million dollars. Yes. Mm. Bonafide. B O N A F Y D E. Bona fide. That answer is. Loser. Lose, lose, loser. Incorrect. Brian, five. Four. Uh, three. Bona fide. B O N E F I D E. Uh, that answer is. 
God damn it. God damn it. Incorrect. We were looking for B O N A F I D E. Bonafide. Like it's spelled. Piece Fucking of opposite shit. day. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck, Fuck off. off. Daddy's number one candy baby. <laughs> Who wants to got some lobster? Fuck off. <laughs> Brian, you're up next with this one. Ready. Evie. Fuck you. <laughs> e Evie? Evie. Evie. You, you use it in a sentence. Awesome. I just downloaded Evie. E. V. I. Brian, that answer is your awesomeness. It shines too big. Yeah. He's done it! Yeah. Oh, no! The AI driven content recommendation engine. There you go, Evie. You nailed I it. I thought that was is all crypto shit. Uh, hey, man. They say that they're crypto. I looked for crypto and it gave me Evie. H how's it looking on score there, Bryce? Uh, let's take a look here, Brett. Uh, after so many rounds of play, it looks like so Brian, many. <laughs> Brian has got uh, three points, it looks like, and Justin, I think, only has two. What? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Fortunes <laughs> have turned. All right. We only have a few more here, so this is your last chance to get some points. All right. Uh, Justin, we're going to yep. start with Go, go, go. Come on. Back on the comeback trail. Here we go. Wire. Here we go. Wire. 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 Where's the base? It is based in Hong Kong how, and how, more. How many how many wire employees we got? There what, is what? either 11 or 50. It's a range, 11 to 50. I know. <laughs> By the way, uh, they're based in China. Social credit score to the moon. Um, <laughs> what? Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Uh, wire. Wire. W Y Y R wire. <laughs> w Y Y R is incorrect. Brian, wire. W I R E. <laughs> Brian, that answer is loser, loser, loser. Fuck. Oh, you bastard! Incorrect. We were looking for W Y R E. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Only one Y. Only one Y. And there's y. an E. I went double yeah. Y. Went the double Y. You know, a pr pr pretty good guess, though. For a pretty good guess. Um, already. Uh, only, only a few more here. Let's see. Uh, I think we're starting with Brian on this one. Brian. Ready. Tell me. Glyph. Glyph. G-L-I-F. Uh, Glyph. Wow. Confident. Incorrect. Not for any good reason, but confident. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Brian, Justin, you have five seconds. Uh, uh, Glyph. G. L Y F E. <laughs> what? Glyph. Okay. That answer is. Leave it. Come on. Show it to me. Show it to me. Incorrect. 2EX. That's 2EX <laughs> dot zip. <laughs> we were looking for G L I P H. Yeah, I know. We wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. That's not a real word. All right. Uh, this is our last round here. What the fuck? I know. We're looking at a score of three to two. If you could both pull out your cell phones for me, you're both going to text me your answer to this. All one. right. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to say, uh, uh, first off, uh, uh, the score, three to two. Brian is the lead by just one point here. So it's anybody's game because this is our six point round. Yeah. Right? Crazy. Uh, you got to get it right, though. You got to get it right to change the game. Here is the startup. Obi-Wan. I, uh, how many employees? Uh, yeah, how many? Yeah, how many employees? Uh, one to ten. Where do they live? They live not reported. How, how much did they raise? Three million dollars. Obi-Wan. Waiting for them to send their text messages in. I've got one here. Locked it in. All right, I've received J Brian's answer. I've received Justin's answer. Folks, we have a winner of this game. Uh-oh. Don't Justin, be me. You, Don't be me. you spelled Obi-Wan as O-B-I-E in that answer. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, what right. Else? No, we have the other thing. And Brian, you spelled it as O-B-1. I spelled O-B-I-E-1. 
Yes. And yeah. Brian answered just number o, one. B, number one. Yes. And so you just did letters O, B, number one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Brian, your answer. And I've got to, I've got to drop it into the answer hole here. Yeah. <laughs> the answer hole. Hey. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, baby. No! Choosing. Congratulations to Brian for winning. Brian! Uh, and, Feeling it. Feeling uh, it. If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail. You can send in games, questions, some of your high thoughts, ideas for punishments, all sorts of good stuff there. Greatnightpod at gmail.com. Please. Thank you. Yep. All Hells right. Yeah. All right. Bryce, I need you to go to YouTube and look up fire royalty free freestyle. Feed. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm on it. Oh, I'm I on. need you to go and just like. I need something with like a lot of diamonds on the album art. A lot of diamonds. 100 BPM, please. Not 100 <laughs> BPM. <laughs> no, it's not a good BPM. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to believe there's like an album out there that's just called Grandpa Beats. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, boo. Boo. When is the ludicrous gonna come out? <laughs> it says on my ticket six o'clock. Dustin, I'll give you a choice. You can choose just it's six o'clock, and I'm on my cock, and I get out of here. No, I, we gotta start the two minutes. You're gonna freestyle better than me. You can either have thirst rap or just jam. Uh, thirst rap, it is. All right, here's thirst rap from our friends at Stream Beats. <gasps> Yo, what up, people? What are you doing? I'm hyping you. <laughs> are you and y'all are ready for this? <laughs> it may be 6.05 on your clock, but it's 8.58 in your cocks. Let's give it up for Justin Robert Young. What's Cars. he rapping about? Cars. Uh, hold on, hold on. You need to go. You need to leave. <laughs> Cars. Everybody drives them, unless you are uh, in a hybrid, and then you also drive them because it's still a car. Yeah. That's the thing that we go from school to work. That's the thing that we do when the bitches twerk. <laughs> Everybody has a car if they need to go. I like to take mine to the motherfucking store. Yeah. Woo. Next topic. What would you do with $180? Yeah. My buddy Brian gave me $180 because he's very s sleepy and he had to leave. But if I had my choice of what to do, I'd bury it in a tree and leave <laughs> because I believe in fertilizing the earth with fiat currency. That's the thing that I like to do to me when I look at my bank receipt. 30 seconds. Yeah. It's a thing I like to do. Give me more M stuff. Magical uh, California. Uh, uh, I gave Brian my weed pen. He <laughs> smoked my weed pen. He got too high then. And he had to leave then. He gave me $180, mostly because he was confused. I smoked good weed. I smoked good weed. He smoked good weed. <laughs> Can last, go to last topic. <laughs> last topic, Diamond Club. Uh, uh. Diamond Club's the set I rep. Everybody catch a step. If you're not in Diamond Club, then you can go to hell, you pug. Fuck certain dogs. Pugs are included. Golden Retrievers are good, but I don't like pugs. Yay! Your eyes look like they're always about to fall out. It's so weird. Very odd. Very odd. Uh, well, I feel that's like that's pretty much the best rap on the internet. No, in fact, uh, this was a very deliberate ploy so everybody could hear good rap yeah. as opposed to bad rap, which is what I did. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the program and the first time on Great Night and 80 of Dual Card. He's making his way on stage now. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. No, 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 no. He's got he's got he his own. He yeah, because he's gonna start rapping. He's got okay, it. okay, okay, okay. He needs that just All right, now rap. listen, now listen now. <clears throat> I don't mean to scare you, uh, 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 Mr. Is, is it Ent? 
Yes, and eighty of Dual Core. I just wanted to say thank you for having me, and I can't believe that you agreed to let me do the Eric Andre opening in my writer. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Listen, uh, here on Rap Stars of the World, you just had a heck of a of, of, of a competitor in Justin Robert Young. Hopefully, you've got what do you got in your bag of tricks? I have a mustache that yeah. is. Uh, it, it pales in comparison. You no, you've got a taller mustache. I feel like I've got I've got a, I've got a smaller mustache. You have you have a, you have a real like a man's mustache, like the kind that would collect coffee. Oh, thank you. Yeah, kind that would collect coffee. Yeah, like a lot of coffee. Like you'd be like you take a sip of coffee and half the coffee would be gone. And you'd be like, where the fuck is that? And then you'd flick your mustache and it would all fall back in the cup for the rest mm -hmm. of the Hot day. Hot new freestyle, yeah. coffee uh, yeah. collectors anonymous. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 is there anything we need to know going into uh, your first song? Uh, this is my first time rapping in a room with people uh, yes. since the oh shit since the, since the pandemic yeah since the For sugar real. pills phenomenon and um, <laughs> I've got a little bit of stage fright uh, but if y'all want to like yell in the chorus like with the yeah. the call and response stuff yeah super wait, awesome what, Let's what, do it. what do we yell uh, it, it would be like a back and forth so like last rights and then y'all yell last rights and you don't have to do it in the first time but um. We'll go through like in the first chorus and we'll, in the we'll second chorus. We can, yeah, we'll you'll, all you'll figure it out. out. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him back into our lives. Dual call. Hey, thank you. Also, I Bryce, I forgot to send you different mixes, so I'll just ask you to fade me out at the end. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, it is uh, it's amazing to be here, uh, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I wanted to say hello. Oh my God, my wife is here in the chat. Yay! Hello to my lovely wife, Marina Ciavada. Uh Bryce, can I get more volume in the music? Pick it up from the start, and there's nowhere to go. Quick with the rhythm, ain't no taking it slow. Got a need that I feed now by hitting the road. And I'm living every minute of it, ripping it shows. They made it addictive, flipping this music. Had a dream now, I'm in it, but consider it lucid. Out with the jury, so inconclusive. I can quit it if I want it, but there's no way to prove it. Lights in my eyes, never shining the glare. A game full of rappers, and I'm loving the players. Staring at the crowd, now I'm sudden aware. With a sea full of bodies, fists pumping the air. Where I wanna be when my heart quits popping. Put me in the DJ's turntable coffin. Made it feel invincible. No one's gonna stop it. The beats and the speakers, so we're gonna rock its last. Right. So don't ask why. Ask why. Time will pass by. Pass by. For this fast life. Fast life. It goes back and forth and back and forth. Back and forth. Bring it back from the source. It goes up and down and up and down. Up and down. So much love for the sound. Thank you so much, y'all. It makes me actually kind of feel like I'm... You know, playing a live show, <laughs> it's amazing. Very different than rapping by myself in a room. <laughs> Got a handful of passion, some of the talent, fighting on my life just to try to find a balance. Now I'm torn out, pouring out my heart by the gallon, giving it I'm winning, say I'm up for the challenge. Life split in half, looked at the map, tell me when to go, now there's no looking back. Doing everything I thought I couldn't with rap. If I showed you the results and you wouldn't have laughed, to the front of the queue like I'm pushing the stack. So quick when I moved that they couldn't react. Got six for you overlooking the facts, give him any criticism and I'm pushing it back. What I need is a feed when he's cooking up tracks. I completed with a lead and we're hooking up raps. They download our ways like they took it in tax, but we'll never be a kickstart. You shouldn't have backed this last. Right, last. Right. So don't ask why. Ask why. Time will pass by. Pass by. For this fast life. Fast life. It goes back and forth and back and, and forth. forth. Back and, and forth. forth. Bring it back from the source. It goes up and down and up and down. Up and down. So much love for the sound. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Uh, the folks online, you can't see it, but everybody behind the cameras was waving their hands as well. It was really cool. <laughs> Step to the mic. Everything is a hush. Get the crowd going. Now we're ready to crush. Prime state of mind. No one ever could touch. Entering adrenaline. I'm feeling the rush. This moment in time now. I wish you could freeze. Nowhere else on the planet for me ever to be. Exposed to the growth when we planted the seed. This is living. I've been given everything that I need. See to believe it. Dream and achieve it. Every time I flow, share a piece of the secret that goes. So I know with the hope that I keep it. Can't imagine what would happen if I ever tried to leave it. Best of the rest of my life on the stage. In between shows, writing tracks on the page. The man 6'4", added fuel to the flame. So I give it all I got. Dual core is the name. Woo! Oh. Yes. Oh. On my last. Right. <laughs> yeah, bring him in, bring him in. On my last rights. So don't ask why. Time will pass by. 
Cause they're that guy. That guy it goes back and forth and back and forth. Back and forth. Bring it back from the source. It goes up and down and up and down. Up and down. So much love for the sound. Yeah. Holy shit, and Eddie from oh. Dual Core. Uh, Thanks, y'all. That was amazing, man. That was that was uh, uh, maybe the most fucking high energy shit that we have done uh, uh, here uh, uh, since since we started Great Night. I, I feel like we should just keep the energy going instead of fucking doing more banter. What else you got for us? Well, got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only uh, only fire emoji bars. Oh, That's shit. it. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, I do have one other song. It's a new one. I haven't played live in front of people before. Uh, no chorus. It's like a call and response at all. Sorry, it's just a sample in the chorus. But uh, happy to try it live if y'all want to Let's fucking do it. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> this song is called Hide and Seek. And uh, produced by C64 of Dual Core, the other half. Shout out to all my hackers that press F12. Live on the scene, reaching high for the dream. Living life, hide and seek, still describe what it means. Got my eyes on the prize for the keep, stay concerned. Still amazed to learn it's the way the tables turn. Let the database to burn. My name is Inch 80. I hack computers and make rap about it. On the run from these hide guns, step away from death, living check to check, yo, I'm living breath to breath, inspired from the opportunity to fight the silence, some try to liven up, but in time, months of time, some frantic panic, my mind feels on fire, son, outside they fire guns, peeling out tires, fun, spelling burn a rubber, a distinct reminder of exactly who it is I'm hiding from, wonder if my time has come, curtains that I'm pulling back, exposing what you can't see, the silent life, activism mixed with vigilante, malice, focus bringing balance in the time of need, secret society, trying to keep their Rely on me while moving at a high speed. Watching if you fight or flee. Show you how it feels when you take away our privacy. Look in the mirror, you can blame the reflections fault. Combinations cracked open safes in the seventh vault. Yeah, thank you. Uh, tell them. I'm doing crime. My life is like the living dream, driven by these hidden means, flagrant. My motivation chasing unforgiving themes, waiting. With sinister intent to long fulfilling screams, aching. Ready to inflict upon a still regime's taken. Anything and everything, data stores are evergreen. Information rules, so you better bring. Quick and thick as thieves, pivot deeper when I sniff defeat. Every time it's trick or treat and feed and what the system eats. Hex filled to still a stream, ciphers get decrypted clean. Citizens with nitroglycerine blowing up the scene. Brokers in the shadows always publishing the digits clean. Hearing all the chilling screams, tearing down the spill. Machine faced with obligated ways made to intervene statements. Racing at the pace that the rhythm speaks. Living with these individuals. I'm a guillotine. Docs getting dumped in a rush on the WikiLeaks. Wow, thank y'all. <laughs> Yes, great night. Thank you so much for having me. Let me see some diamonds in the club. Diamonds in the chat, y'all. Oh, damn. Thanks, y'all. Get this man a light. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit, dude. Uh, uh, that was that was that was that was that was uh, straight fire. And uh, I feel like uh, uh, we have we, we got to wrap things up. Well, right? here, uh, first things first. Uh, uh, if folks are only hearing you for the first time and they want more of you, where do they go? Uh, anywhere you get your music, you can find Dual Core. It's spelled just like the processor, two words, D-U-A-L-C-O-R-E. We're on all the platforms. How many employees? <laughs> <laughs> two, based in Austin, Texas, two. and Manchester, UK. Uh, uh, absolutely. And so you're on all the streaming services and everything, and then social media, are you anywhere that, that matters? Yeah, Dual Core Music. If you, uh, if you search Dual Core, we'll find it. We're Dual Core Music everything, at Dual Core Music on Twitter, YouTube slash Dual Core Music, Facebook slash Dual Core Music. And so forth. I'll what, tell you what, man. What, what, the, the whole world is coming back outside, and I ain't ever experienced the type of energy that you bring to a live show before, man. I cannot wait. Oh, absolutely. To make that so, so, what do you think? Uh, Q, Q1, Q2, 
22. The pandemic has taught me I know nothing about predicting the future. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Q2 of 24. No, just Q2 kidding. of 24. Of FY24. Right, yeah. In pencil. In pencil. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Let's get a big round of applause for Thank you. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone, all my non-binary friends as well, all included. Hell we yeah. Get them all in. Get them all in. Ooh, thank y'all. Thank uh, you so much, man. So, uh, so question, uh, are, are we going to wrap up an after show, or are we going to get a live update on the uh, on the workout? Oh, uh, I will do that on the after Yeah, okay. So so then meanwhile, you'll tell us what we learned today. We've learned many things, but before we get started with that, I wanted to say... To my friend Val, who is uh, recovering in the hospital. Yes, yes absolutely. Mm-hmm. Known her 30 years. Her head is exploding from the pre-show. And uh, I love you, and I want you to get better. So, wait, is that where I am? Yeah. There we I go. love you, Val. Get better. We love Val. We yes. love Val. We love Val. We love Val. We love Val. We love Val. So, what I've learned yes. is uh, uh, place- the placebo effect is a real thing. Yes. Uh, your ideas can be bullshit. Yes. <laughs> it was a thought experiment. Uh, uh, dual core is straight fucking fire, yeah. is what I'd like to say. And, uh, Brian, you won. I won. Yeah. <laughs> Diamonds in the sky, you crazy motherfucker. Woo! There they are. Uh, hey, Brian. Yeah? It's still a great night. Still a great night. Try not to crazy diamonds. Me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night. A single right, night. A later night. You got a light? No, you can't really even put it in your mouth. Yeah, they just oh, can't yeah. yeah. But do you, do you, you have, have, a have a light? Or... Do you even have a cutter? It's fine. Greater, Love you guys. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>